two million yep. signatures yep. is what you've got on the petition already. And that's in the space of four months. And I'm yep. sure it was helped by the song that we've been seeing oh, a yes. little bit of. Oh, yes, um, yes. Coco. Coconut and chocolate. You okay, know? so tell us a little bit about uh, how you guys did it and um, what's the main message of it. Uh, the, the pretty much coconut chocolate means cocoa is chocolate because um, speaking on behalf of the youths, you know, we are not, we focused on what we can see right now. And many of the African youths believe when you say agriculture or when you say farming, it means you're just talking about the primary one. You're going to plant in the soil. They don't know about the packaging. They don't know about processing. They don't know about the whole 360. So in opening my eyes to it, when I traveled with them to Ghana, I saw one big cocoa plantation. And that's when I was educated to notice that most of the African farmers, the women that are doing all this for us, that work on the raw place, they don't even get to see the end product, the chocolate. They don't even know how it's done. They just work so hard and do this. And, and from there, I now call upon my colleagues. I was like, guys, let's get into the studio. Let's do something that would make agriculture look trendy, that would make agriculture look classy, that would make our youths know that if we focus on this, we can actually unravel the world that is hidden. And that has happened because in, in four months, apart from the youths that have been able to sign up, not just have they signed up to say we believe in agriculture is the bedrock of our foundation, but they've signed up to say, listen, where is the way out? On my timeline on Twitter, we see people saying the bench, I have this farm land that I inherited from my grandfather. I didn't know what to do with it, but until I saw this, and I want to go into fishery, I want to go into poultry, I want to go into this. I myself actually have gone into I've gone into processing and I've started doing agriculture myself, I've started doing one form of it or the other because I realized that, you know, even though you want to be a musician, hardly do you see a musician that is in Forbes for doing music alone. You have yeah. to do business, you have to use what God has been giving you as a brand to be able to, you know, reinvest into your culture, into your country. And that's okay. what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm actually going to ask you about that because we <laughs> mentioned it in the intro, the Coco Master. Now, we don't know too much about Coco in South Africa <laughs> okay. unless as people that have been involved in the Nigerian diaspora. Mm -hmm. Explain to us what Coco is and why you're known as the Coco Master because that's, of course, your agricultural link. Uh, actually, actually, people confuse it because when you say Coco, some people think it's the COCO. I've actually been called the Coco Master for 10 years now. This is my 10th year anniversary as a musician. Okay. And my first single was, let me tell you the Coco. So everyone started asking me, what is the Coco? And okay. I said, the Coco is the bone of contention. The Coco is whatsoever you do to derive pleasure. So in this table right now, as we speak on this wonderful SABC, I will tell you, the Coco is agriculture because that's the focus. You know, we, we need to end hunger, we need to end poverty. But the Coco master is the master of whatsoever you do to derive pleasure. <laughs> and but, but I see something here, you see, because as philosophical as he wants to be, you are, there is actually a product called Coco, Coco Gary. Gary. Yeah. So there Coco. is actually this, this yeah, so, product. What is this? But, right, this is cassava. This is um. This is like cereals. So this is this is a fast food that you can eat in Nigeria, and this is my first product from my line as a cocoa farmer. So K O K O, not the cocoa cocoa for chocolate, because people get it confused. So as the cocoa master, um, it's my brand name. So when you see cocoa, you know that's the band. So I'm going into cocoa Gary, cocoa bread, you know. Hmm. What does it taste like? Hmm, with sugar. You can have a full balanced diet if you put this in <laughs> no, this, It tastes like the series. You can have it for breakfast. You can just eat it and pour water in it. And then you can also eat it solidified. It's, uh, it's made from cassava and it's very, very healthy. Hmm. Stunning. Mm. Brilliant. We're, we're going into the, the market very soon. The Coco Master doing Coco yeah. Gary. My goodness. Okay. And <laughs> this, this is the kind of cool thing that you're wanting to speak yes. to the youth. Yes. You couldn't have gotten yes. a better Absolutely. man than Debanch himself Absolutely. to actually yes. spread this yes. message that agriculture is the future of wealth for our, for our African youth on the continent. Thank you guys so much for Thank coming you. into the studio. Great been Thank chatting you. to you. you. That you. was Debanch as well as Sipo Moyo, who is the executive director of the campaign of the One Project. Chatting with us here on Morning Live.